Imagine a world where the hustle and bustle of modern life fades away, replaced by serene landscapes and untouched nature. These are the places that seem almost mythical, where civilization feels like a distant memory. From the isolated island of Nauru in the vast Pacific Ocean to the dense rainforests of Suriname in South America, these remote countries offer a glimpse into a simpler, quieter way of life. Each of these places has its own unique charm and challenges, making them fascinating destinations for those seeking adventure off the beaten path. Now let's zero in on one of the most intriguing entries on this list, Bhutan. Nestled high in the Himalayas between the giants of China and India, Bhutan is a tiny kingdom that has managed to preserve its rich cultural heritage and stunning natural beauty through centuries of isolation. This remoteness isn't just geographical, it's also cultural and environmental. Bhutan's rugged mountains and dense forests have kept it largely inaccessible, while its strict tourism policies ensure that only a limited number of visitors can experience its wonders each year. This combination of factors makes Bhutan not just remote, but also incredibly unique and precious. Have you ever wondered where the happiest people on Earth reside? Today, we embark on an extraordinary journey to the mystical kingdom of Bhutan, often considered the most remote country in the world. Unlike typical destinations for those seeking to relocate abroad, Bhutan offers something truly unique. From its awe-inspiring landscapes dominated by towering mountains to its warm and welcoming locals, this country is a treasure trove of natural beauty and profound cultural experiences. Let's delve deeper into what makes Bhutan so special. Bhutan is a magical haven for retirees seeking peace and rich cultural experiences. However, it's crucial to understand that Bhutan's services primarily cater to its own citizens. This means there are specific rules for foreign retirees regarding social security, health care, and other services. Expatriates must have comprehensive medical insurance that covers treatment in Bhutan and potential evacuation to another country for more advanced care. This can cost around $20 to $30 a month. For those eager to continue learning, many schools and nonprofits offer adult education programs and workshops. Retirees can also engage with the community by volunteering with local groups and nonprofits, fostering meaningful connections and giving back. Bhutan is one of the safest countries globally boasting very low crime rates and a strong sense of community. Its political stability stems from a constitutional monarchy and a smooth transition to democracy, making it a secure and peaceful place to live. So, what aspects of retiring to Bhutan excite you the most? Are they enough to entice you to make the move? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Next, let's explore the visa process. Most foreign nationals need a visa to visit Bhutan, except for Indian, Bangladeshi, and Maldivian passport holders. Currently, Bhutan does not offer a specific visa for retirees, but there are alternative ways for retirees to spend extended periods in the country. These include tourist visas, business investments, and friendship programs. Interested retirees should stay updated on Bhutanese visa regulations and consider working with Bhutanese tour operators or legal experts to find the best options. Retirees can visit Bhutan as tourists, typically for up to 14 days, but this can be extended by booking longer tours and meeting daily rate requirements through the tour operator. Even if you manage to enter, what about the cost of living in this secluded nation? In Thimphu, Bhutan's capital, a single person's expenses range from $300 to $650. Renting a one-bedroom apartment costs between $150 and $300, while smaller towns offer rentals from $100 to $200. Dining at mid-range restaurants will add about $50 to $100 to your budget. Bhutan may have limited resources, but it has experienced stable economic growth in recent years. Agriculture, particularly rice, barley, and corn, is essential, along with cattle farming. Tourism is vital, with a unique policy limiting visitors to ensure sustainable, high-quality experiences. Tourists pay a daily fee, covering accommodation, meals, guides, and transport. Bhutan also has valuable natural resources like hydroelectricity. Exporting electricity, mainly to India, brings in significant revenue for the country. Bhutan's focus on sustainable development is impressive, aiming to balance economic growth with environmental protection. For instance, 
they have banned hunting and promote eco-friendly farming practices. In 2023, Bhutan's total income from goods and services produced in the country was about $3 billion. Despite its progress, Bhutan faces economic challenges. The country relies on a few income sources and needs to diversify its economy for long-term stability. The rugged terrain and cold weather make it difficult to develop agriculture further. Additionally, tourism can be affected by changes in the global economy and politics. To tackle these issues, the Bhutanese government is investing in education, infrastructure, and sustainable development. Bhutan's unique history and cultural practices also play a significant role in shaping daily life here. Before we dive into those, if you can help us, it only takes 10 seconds to hit that subscribe button. In return, we promise to continue making the show even better for you. Bhutan's commitment to preserving its cultural heritage is evident in its numerous festivals and traditional practices. The country celebrates various festivals throughout the year, such as the famous Paro Chechu, which showcases vibrant mask dances and religious rituals. These festivals provide a glimpse into Bhutan's rich cultural tapestry and offer visitors a chance to immerse themselves in the local traditions. Additionally, Bhutan's emphasis on gross national happiness GNH, over gross domestic product GDP, reflects its holistic approach to development, prioritizing the well-being and happiness of its citizens. This unique philosophy sets Bhutan apart from other nations and contributes to its reputation as one of the happiest places on Earth. Bhutan, a small nation nestled in the eastern Himalayas, is renowned for its stunning landscapes and rich cultural heritage. Buddhism, introduced to Bhutan in the 7th century by Guru Rinpoche, also known as Padmasambhava, has profoundly influenced the country's way of life. This spiritual foundation is evident in Bhutan's unique system of governance established in the 17th century by Jabdrung Ngawang Namgyal. He unified the country and created a distinctive administrative structure centered around zongs, massive fortresses that serve both religious and governmental functions. Throughout the 17th and 18th centuries, Bhutan experienced numerous conflicts with Tibet, leading to shifts in leadership and territorial disputes. However, the opening of its borders in recent decades has spurred rapid economic and social development. In 2008, Bhutan transitioned to a parliamentary democracy, adopting a new constitution. The current monarch, King Jigmi Kesar Namgyel Wangchuk, continues to play a significant role in the nation's governance. One of the unique aspects of Bhutanese culture is the practice of polygamy, where men and women can have multiple spouses with mutual consent. This tradition, more prevalent among men, is often seen as a means to acquire more land, livestock, and children, thereby enhancing a man's status and ensuring a large family lineage. However, this practice can also lead to issues such as jealousy and familial conflict. According to the 2022 census, approximately 5% of marriages in Bhutan are polygamous, with higher rates observed in rural areas compared to urban centers. Bhutanese women are celebrated for their distinct beauty, characterized by dark hair, expressive almond-shaped eyes, and well-proportioned figures. Their active lifestyle and traditional diet contribute to their petite and graceful appearance. Bhutanese women often wear the kira, a traditional ankle-length dress with pride and elegance, reflecting their deep connection to cultural heritage. They are known for their resilience and play crucial roles in both family and community life. Women in Bhutan are not only homemakers, but also active participants in various sectors, including education and business. Education is highly valued, and many women pursue higher studies, excelling in fields ranging from traditional arts to modern sciences. They maintain a balanced lifestyle, blending modernity with tradition, and actively participate in cultural festivals and community events. Bhutan champions the philosophy of gross national happiness, GNH, focusing on sustainable development, cultural preservation, environmental protection, and good governance. Influenced by Vajrayana Buddhism, Bhutanese people proudly wear traditional clothing like the Go for men and Kira for women, showcasing their rich textile heritage. The architecture in Bhutan is distinctive, featuring grand zongs, temples, and traditional homes adorned with intricate woodwork and vibrant paintings, 
all constructed without nails. Dzongka is the national language, while English is widely spoken, especially in schools and government offices. Bhutanese cuisine is known for its spicy flavors, with chili peppers playing a central role. The national dish, amadachi, combines chili peppers and cheese, while other popular dishes include momos, dumplings, red rice, and various curries. The arts and crafts of Bhutan, known as Zorig Chusum, encompass 13 traditional skills such as painting, carpentry, sculpture, and weaving. Environmental conservation is paramount in Bhutan, driven by Buddhist beliefs in interconnectedness. The country mandates that at least 60% of its land remains forested, making Bhutan the world's only carbon-negative nation. Bhutanese people are known for their politeness, respect, and exceptional hospitality, ensuring visitors feel warmly welcomed. To further enhance the understanding of Bhutan's unique culture, it is worth noting the importance of festivals in Bhutan's society. Chekus, or religious festivals, are held annually in various monasteries and zongs across the country. These festivals feature masked dances, music, and rituals that celebrate significant events in the life of Guru Rinpoche. The Paro and Thimphu Tsechus are particularly popular, attracting both locals and tourists. During these festivals, participants don elaborate costumes and masks, performing dances that depict stories of good triumphing over evil. These celebrations are not only religious, but also social events that bring communities together allowing people to dress in their finest traditional clothing, enjoy local food, and engage in communal prayers and offerings. Monks are the heart and soul of Bhutan, preserving its rich Buddhist traditions through a life dedicated to study, prayer, and contemplation. Many young Bhutanese boys, starting as early as 12 years old, enter monasteries after completing their basic schooling. These monasteries, often nestled in remote and serene areas, serve as more than just places of worship. They are cultural and educational hubs where monks learn a variety of subjects including logic, mathematics, martial arts, and Zongka, Bhutan's primary language. The monasteries nurture both the spiritual and intellectual growth of the monks, who go on to become teachers, spiritual guides, and community leaders. They orchestrate religious events and ceremonies playing a pivotal role in maintaining the spiritual and cultural identity of Bhutan. With around 20,000 monks, most following the Tibetan Buddhist tradition, they are the heartbeat of Bhutan, sharing their wisdom and insights with the people. Living in such close quarters fosters a strong sense of community among the monks. They support each other in their spiritual pursuits, sharing meals, practicing together, and providing encouragement when needed. This way of life emphasizes compassion, generosity, and selflessness. The monks are deeply connected to their communities, serving as spiritual leaders and teachers. They offer guidance and support to laypeople, helping them navigate the challenges of daily life and find peace and happiness. Despite the simplicity of their lives, Bhutanese monks are a powerful reminder of the importance of spiritual pursuits and the impact they can have on individuals and communities they are a shining example of the rich cultural heritage of Bhutan and the significance of the Buddhist way of life in the modern world. If you are considering moving to Bhutan to live or retire, this beautiful yet remote country offers a unique experience but comes with its own set of challenges. Bhutan is not a typical destination for expatriates due to its strict immigration and tourism policies. The country follows a high-value, low-impact tourism policy, which means even short-term visitors must pay a daily fee of $250. This fee helps limit tourist numbers and protect the country's culture. If you are thinking about relocating to Bhutan, you will need to go through several steps. Applying for a visa, learning about local customs, and finding a place to live are all part of the process. These tasks can be challenging due to Bhutan's unique laws and social setup. The country's infrastructure, shaped by its mountainous landscape, can also make daily life and healthcare a bit challenging and not always up to Western standards. To get a real sense of what living in Bhutan is like, it is advisable to visit for a shorter period first. This will help you understand the practical aspects of life there. Connecting with current expatriates and local forums can provide first-hand insights. 
Building relationships with locals and expatriates can offer valuable support and help you overcome cultural and language barriers. It is important to stay updated on Bhutan's immigration policies as they can change. Consulting with immigration experts or legal advisors can offer clarity on the latest requirements. Being flexible and open to adapting your lifestyle is key to enjoying your time in Bhutan. Living or retiring in Bhutan can be incredibly rewarding. The country offers stunning natural beauty, peaceful environments, and a rich cultural heritage. However, careful planning and a realistic understanding of the challenges are essential to make this dream a reality. Navigating the challenges of living in Bhutan requires an understanding of the country's cultural and legal landscape, including its strict regulations such as anti-smoking laws. In Bhutan, smoking is not just frowned upon, it is illegal, with some of the world's toughest anti-tobacco laws. In 2004, Bhutan became the first country to completely ban the sale of tobacco, a groundbreaking step solidified by the Tobacco Control Act of 2010. This act reflects Bhutan's unwavering dedication to public health, banning the sale, distribution, and advertisement of tobacco. While the sale of tobacco is banned, individuals are allowed to import limited quantities of tobacco for personal use, albeit with significant restrictions. Travelers are permitted to bring in up to 200 cigarettes, 15 cigars, or 250 grams of other tobacco products, but these imports are subject to a 200% tax. This high tax serves as a deterrent, aligning with the country's broader anti-tobacco stance. Additionally, smoking in public places is strictly prohibited, encompassing government buildings, hospitals, educational institutions, and even open areas such as parks and markets. Violators of these laws face hefty fines, reinforcing the country's rigorous enforcement measures. The anti-smoking laws are strict, but Bhutan's commitment to preserving life extends even further. Here's another regulation that might surprise you. In Bhutan, the sale and production of tobacco are banned, making it the only country in the world with such stringent anti-tobacco measures. This reflects the nation's dedication to promoting a healthy lifestyle and protecting its citizens from the harmful effects of tobacco. In Bhutan, the act of killing animals is strictly forbidden, and establishing a slaughterhouse in any form is illegal. Consequently, all animal meat consumed in Bhutan is imported from India. The Bhutanese people, deeply influenced by their Buddhist beliefs, consume very little meat. Many refrain from eating it altogether, due to feelings of guilt over the souls of dead animals. According to Bhutanese beliefs, Buddha taught that one should not kill living beings, should not cause them to be killed, and should not incite others to kill them. Every living being trembles before violence, fears death, and loves life. Moreover, Bhutan has stringent laws protecting its wildlife. For instance, those who intentionally kill black-necked cranes, a vulnerable species in the country, face severe penalties. These can include life imprisonment or, in the most extreme cases, the death penalty. Bhutan's unique laws and breathtaking landscapes offer much to ponder. Nestled in southern Asia, among the Grand Himalayan Mountains, Bhutan is a small country with a big heart. In 2024, this remote land covers about 38,000 square kilometers and is home to around 780,000 people. Thimphu, the capital city, lies in a picturesque valley along the Wangchu River. Bhutan's charm lies in its stunning mountain views, unique culture, and commitment to gross national happiness, putting well-being above wealth. Bhutan's geography is both tough and captivating. The landscape is marked by towering mountains, part of the Grand Himalayas. The highest peak, Gangkar Puensum, reaches about 7,570 meters. Bhutan also boasts many monasteries and temples, with Tiger's Nest or Paro Taksang being the most iconic. Built in 1692, this historic monastery clings magically to a steep cliff at more than 3,000 meters, seemingly floating in the air. Deep valleys carved by rivers and their tributaries nestle human settlements and farmlands. The Amochu River, with its tributaries, is vital for the country, providing water and supporting hydroelectric power, a key part of Bhutan's economy. Sacred lakes like Lake Phobjika and Lake Kioparli hold great cultural and spiritual value. Bhutan's varying altitudes create diverse climates, from subtropical in the south 
to alpine in the north, influencing its rich biodiversity. Despite its small size, Bhutan is a biodiversity hotspot, home to a wealth of plant and animal species. The country's strict environmental policies highlight its dedication to nature conservation. Strategically located with Tibet and China to the north and surrounded by Indian states to the south, east, and west, Bhutan's rugged terrain often means many areas are reachable only by winding roads or on foot. This isolation helps preserve its unique identity and natural beauty. Bhutan's incredible landscapes, cultural richness, and focus on happiness make it a fascinating place to live and explore. Known as the Land of the Thunder Dragon, Bhutan is an extraordinary country with unique and surprising facts. It is the only nation with negative carbon emissions, thanks to its extensive forests and towering Himalayas. At an average altitude of over 10,000 feet, more than 70% of Bhutan is covered in pristine forests. The Bhutanese kingdom enforces strict laws to protect these forests, believing that harmony with nature is essential for a fulfilling life. Their constitution mandates that at least 60% of the land remains forested for future generations. While many countries struggle to reduce carbon emissions, Bhutan stands out as a beacon of environmental stewardship. Adding to Bhutan's allure is its commitment to preserving its cultural heritage. The country is known for its vibrant festivals, traditional arts, and crafts. The annual Chechu Festival, held in various districts, showcases colorful mask dances and religious performances, drawing both locals and tourists. Bhutanese textiles, renowned for their intricate designs and craftsmanship, are another cultural treasure. Handwoven from raw cotton and silk, these textiles reflect the rich heritage and artistic skills passed down through generations. The Great Buddha Dordanma, a gigantic Shakyamuni Buddha statue in the mountains of Bhutan, celebrates the 60th anniversary of the fourth king, Jigme Singyi Wangchuk. This statue houses over 100,000 smaller Buddha statues, each made of bronze and gilded in gold, symbolizing Bhutan's deep-rooted spiritual traditions. So there you have it, a journey through some of the world's most remote countries, culminating in the enchanting kingdom of Bhutan. These places are on this list not just because they are hard to reach, but because they offer something truly special, an escape from the ordinary. Whether it's the untouched rainforests of Suriname or the towering peaks of Bhutan, these remote countries remind us of the incredible diversity and beauty our world has to offer. And that's why they deserve a spot on this list, capturing our imaginations and inspiring our wanderlust. If you enjoyed this video, let us know in the comment section down below and turn on your notifications to know when next we upload. See you in our next video. Bye. Bye.